Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have one of the newest collections from Bonita, and this is their regular range of polishes. They also have another line, which is Bonita Salon. I'll show you that in a minute so I can compare bottles and prices and things like that for you. But these right here, I found at Rite Aid for $1.49 a piece, which is amazing. And the name of the collection is Kiss of the Decade. And it's really exciting. I mean, I love whenever I can find polishes for such a low price, but have such great formulas. It's just, it's awesome. I love when that happens. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share these with you. So I will go ahead and stop talking and I will get into the actual polishes. Okay, as always, let's go ahead and start with what I'm wearing on my nails. This is what they look like today. And I am wearing one of the new One Step Wonder Gels from Wet n Wild in the color Air Apparent and Butter London in Dodgy Barnett. So that's that. Alright, so like I just said, I wanted to show you guys the two different lines that Bonita makes. This right here is just the original Bonita line, and then this is the Bonita Salon, which is a little bit bigger, and they're in these more square bottles, and they cost a little bit more too. But that is the difference between the two different lines, and we're just talking about the regular line today. So I'm just going to start with the color that I have right here. And this one is To the Batmobile. <laughs> Such a weird name for this collection. It's cute though. It's just a really deep kind of um, burgundy kind of color. And it has like a brown undertone to it, which I love. I love those kind of colors. Formula is great. Two coats for opacity. Didn't have any issues with the formula being like thick or nothing like that. Or too sheer. It was really, really good pretty impressed. So here is two coats of To The Batmobile. And as always, I will have a little slideshow with all of these on my nails so you guys can see what they look like at the end of the video. Alright, so next up here is actually the namesake of the collection, Kiss of the Decade. And it's just a really pretty kind of magenta cream color. It's really pretty. Formula is really good again. Two coats for full opacity. Here is two coats of that. Alright, so up next here is Truth Fairy, and it's just a really beautiful pink foiled metallic. Again, great formula. This is a one-coater, though. It's super pretty, super shiny. I really, really like this color. So here is Truth Fairy on the swatch wheel. Alright, so this one has a bit of a weird name too. It's called Flirty Shirley, but it is a gorgeous polish. It is just, it's a clear base, and it's just packed with purple and holographic glitter. It's so amazing. You can get this opaque on your nails in two coats, or you can layer it, but I just like it on its own. Look at that hollow. Ah, love love anything with hollow. Of course, who doesn't, right? <laughs> so here is two coats of Flirty Shirley. Alright, so this one here is called Cerulean Killer. How cute is that? It's probably my favorite out of the collection. It's just this beautiful, bright kind of cerulean blue shimmer, glass flecky kind of amazingness in a bottle. It's so pretty. And as requested by 
my good friend Jen the Polish Pony here on YouTube. I am going to compare it to Kira Blue from Sinful Colors. I just found this or I would have done it earlier. Jen, I'm sorry. But I will link her channel down below, you guys. She's really awesome. But let's put these guys together here and we'll talk about them. Alright, so Cerulean Killer over here and then of course Kira Blue. The Cerulean Killer has more of like larger um, glass fleck pieces where these simple colors is more of just like a deeper shimmery blue. This one's brighter. This one's darker and not as sparkly, but they're both beautiful. <laughs> so let me show you some swatches. So this is going to be two coats of each. So this is Cerulean Killer and then Kira Blue. Let me come closer. Maybe. Yeah, I hope you guys can see what I mean by that. Alright, let's keep moving. We're getting ready to be on the last one. Alright, so the very last one here is called Big Dipper. It's hard to see the name on it, but it's called Big Dipper. It's a clear base with a bunch of different size hex glitters of um, silver holographic glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. This right here is dense enough to where you can get it completely opaque in about two to three coats, depending. I don't like to put it over anything, any like solid color, I guess, just because it like takes away the color underneath and it just kind of looks messy in my opinion. But it's really pretty. Let me show you guys the brush on this. So there it is. It's just a pretty standard brush. It's really, really nice. Applies very, very nicely to the nails. This glitter, can you guys see what I'm talking about? Look at all that. It's crazy. And I will, of course, show you guys the swatch here. So here is two coats of Big Dipper on its own. And then right over here I put it over a nude shade. A very, very light coat over a nude shade. And I don't like it over like solid colors like that. Over a nude I think it looks just fine. And by itself it's beautiful too. So whichever way you prefer. But I also, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I like to put glitters and things like that over a black base. And mattify them so you can see the pieces and shapes and sizes of the glitters. So this here is Big Dipper over a black with a matte top coat and the holographic is definitely taken away whenever you mattify it. You want it to be glossy for that effect to show but I only did it like this so you guys could see the types of glitters. Same thing with Flirty Shirley. Matte top coat dolls that hollow but at least you can see the types of glitters that are in there a little bit better. And then the last one, I like this one this way though. This is Cerulean Killer over a black with a matte top coat and I love that. Ugh, I love the way that one turned out. I think it looks amazing. Alright, so that's going to do it for this one guys. Let me go ahead and get myself together here and I will be back with the well, with my favorites from the collection and an overall sort of review. Alright, so here are my favorite polishes from the collection, and of course, wouldn't you know it, it's got to be the glitters and shimmers. It's just, I don't know, I'm drawn to them, I guess. <laughs> but this is Cerulean Killer, Flirty Shirley, and Big Dipper. And again, I picked mine up at Rite Aid for $1.49 a piece, so I hope you guys can find these if you like them. Also check Kmart, I know they carry these sometimes too. Um, but yeah, my overall thoughts on the entire collection is amazing. I mean, I definitely give it two thumbs up. The quality that you get is up there with some higher, higher priced, higher name brand 
polishes and you're not paying hardly anything for these I mean it's crazy the formulas were all smooth and nice and easy and just so good so yes two thumbs up for me on this collection here um, I hope this was helpful and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next one